the interaction system in video games is one of the most prominent means for developers to provide players with deeper immersion and means of manipulating environments. This video will go over the creation of a flexible and easy to expand interaction system. Before I start, I am in a scene with a complete character controller that has the ability to move and look around. If you wish to make a smooth character controller, there will be a link in the description going to a video I made in the past on the given matter. Now finally getting started, create a new c -sharp script called Interactor and attach it to your game object that represents the player's camera. When ready, open the Interactor script in Visual Studio. To get started with the Interactor, create the following variables. The Interactor source stores a reference to a transform in which the interacting ray will be casted, and the Interact range dictates the length of the interacting ray cast. Now in the update function, write down the following code. In this code every frame, we check if the player is pressing the E key in the given frame. If they are, a ray cast is created with the position and direction of the interactor source. If the ray cast detects a collider, we use the collision information to attempt an interaction with the object by attempting to get an instance of an interactable interface and calling the interact function on the given object. So that is one half of the interacting system, now let's work on the other side. At the top of the interactor class, add in this interface. This is what we will have any interactee behavior inherit so the interactor can invoke any specific behaviors. With that complete, the interacting system is complete. To display how it works, here I have a number generator example in which a cube has a class called number generator. When looking into the class, you can see that the class inherits the iInteractable interface, which makes the class require the interact function. And inside the interact function, a random number between 0 and 100 is printed. If I press play on my example and use the E key while my player is facing the cube that is within my interacting range, in the console, random numbers are being printed. With that said, that is all for this video. To read more into interfaces and raycasting, there will be some links to documentations in the description. Other than that, I hope to see you all in my next video. Goodbye.